The Spanish Legion, Spanish Legion Española, La Legion, informally known as the Tercio or the Tercios, is a unit of the Spanish Army and Spain's Rapid Reaction Force. It was raised in the 1920s to serve as part of Spain's Army of Africa. The unit, which was established in January 1920 as the Spanish equivalent of the French Foreign Legion, was initially known as the Tercio de Extranjeros, Tercio of Foreigners. The name under which it began fighting in the Rif War of 1920 to 1926. Although it recruited some foreigners mostly from Spanish-speaking nations, it recruited predominantly from Spaniards. As a result, and since it existed to serve in Spanish Morocco, it was soon renamed Tercio de Marruecos, Tercio of Morocco. By the end of the Rif War, it had expanded and again changed its name to the Spanish Legion, with several Tercios as subunits. The Legion played a major role in the nationalist forces in the Spanish Civil War. In post-Franco Spain, the modern Legion has undertaken tours of duty in the Yugoslav Wars, Afghanistan, Iraq and Operation Libre Hidalgo UNIFIL. History the Spanish Legion was formed by royal decree of King Alfonso XIII on 28 January 1920, with the Minister of War José Villalba Riquelme stating, "...with the designation of Foreigner's Regiment there will be created an armed military unit, whose recruits, uniform and regulations by which they should be governed will be set by the Minister of War." In the 1920s the Spanish Legion's five battalions were filled primarily by native Spaniards since foreigners were not easy to recruit with most of its foreign members coming from the Republic of Cuba. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> predecessor. Topic: <inaudible> Historically there had been a Spanish Foreign Legion which preceded the modern Legion's formation in 1920. On 28 June 1835, the French government had decided to hand over to the Spanish government the French Foreign Legion in support of Queen Isabella's claim to the Spanish throne during the First Carlist War. The French Foreign Legion, with around 4,000 men, landed at Tarragona on 17 August 1835. This became the first Spanish Legion until it was dissolved on 8 December 1838, when it had dropped to only 500 men. The British Legion, La Legion Britannica of the Spanish Legion also fought during the First Carlist War. This legion fought for the fortified bridge of Aragoriaga on the 11th of September 1835. Topic: The title of Spanish Legion. Topic: The Spanish Legion was modeled on the French Foreign Legion. Its purpose was to provide a corps of professional troops to fight in Spain. S colonial campaigns in North Africa, in place of conscript units that were proving ineffective. The first commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel José Milan Estre Terreros, referred to his unit as «La Legioan» from the start but this only became part of the unit's title from 1937. In the original Tercio de Extranjeros there were, amongst others, one Chinese, three Japanese, one Maltese, one Russian, and one black American. However, soon the majority of its members were Spaniards who joined to fight outside of European Spain. Tercio lit. A third is an old Spanish military term that roughly translates as regiment. Originally, it had enough manpower to be considered a half brigade. In the 18th century, tercios were replaced by regiments. There is no equivalent word in English. Dating from the 16th century, the name was chosen to evoke the era of Spain's military supremacy as the leading Catholic power in Europe under the Habsburg emperors. Organized into Tercios in 1534, the Spanish infantry gained a reputation for invincibility. In 1925, the unit title was changed to Tercio de Marruecos, the Tercio of Morocco. This was soon abbreviated to the Tercio. In 1937, at the height of the Spanish Civil War, the Tercio de Marruecos was renamed La Legion, the name by which it is still known today. Topic: <laughs> Early campaigns. Topic: The Spanish Legion's first major campaign was in Spanish North Africa. 
In 1920 Spain was facing a major rebellion in the Protectorate of Spanish Morocco, led by the Abel Rif leader Abdel Krim. On 2 September 1920, King Alfonso XIII conferred command of the new regiment on Lieutenant Colonel of Infantry José Milan Estre, chief proponent of its establishment. Milan Estre was an able soldier but an eccentric and extreme personality. His style and attitude would become part of the mystique of the Legion. On 20 September 1920 the first recruit joined the new Legion, a date which is now celebrated annually. The initial makeup of the regiment was that of a headquarters unit and three battalions known as Banderas, lit. Banners, another archaic 16th century term. Each battalion was in turn made up of a headquarters company, two rifle companies and a machine gun company. The regiment's initial location was at the Cuartel del Rey and Suda on the Plaza de Colón. At its height, during the Spanish Civil War, the Legion consisted of 18 Banderas, plus a tank Bandera, an assault engineer Bandera and a special operations group. Banderas 12–18 were considered independent units and never served as part of the additional tercios into which the Legion was organized. Francisco Franco was one of the leaders of the Legion and the unit's second-in-command, concurrently commanding the 1st Legion Bandera. The Legion fought in Morocco in the War of the Rift to 1926. Together with the Regulaires Moorish colonial troops, the Legion made up the Spanish Army of Africa. In October 1934 units of both the Legion and the Regulaires were brought to Spain by the Republican government to help put down a workers' revolt in the area of Asturias. Under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Juan Yeg the Army of Africa played an important part in the Spanish Civil War on the rebel side. The professionalism of both the Legion and the Regulaires gave Franco's rebel troops a significant initial advantage over the less well-trained Spanish Republican forces. The Army of Africa remained an elite spearhead, until the expansion of the rebel armies after April 1937 led to the Legion and Moroccan units being distributed across several fronts. Following the Francoist victory in 1939, the Legion was reduced in size and returned to its bases in Spanish Morocco. It was only after then that the Legion attained its present composition of four tercios, and the names given to them. The fourth tercio of the Legion was established later in 1950. First tercio, Great Captain Gonzalo Fernandez de Cordoba. Second tercio, Fernando Alvarez de Toledo, Duke of Alba. Third tercio, Don Juan de Austria. Fourth tercio, Alexander Farnese, Duke of Parma. When Morocco gained its independence in 1956 the Legion continued in existence as part of the garrison of the remaining Spanish enclaves and territories in North Africa. The Legion fought Arab irregulars in the Ifni War in 1957–58. On 17 June 1970, Legion units opened fire and killed between 2 and 11 demonstrators at the Zemla neighborhood in El Ayin, Spanish Sahara, modern-day Western Sahara. The incident, which came known as the Zemla Intifada, had a significant influence on pushing the Sahrawi anticolonial movement into embarking on an armed struggle which continues, though Spain has long since abandoned the territory and handed it over to Morocco. Through the course of the Legion's history Spaniards including natives of the colony of Spanish Guinea have made up the majority of its members, with foreigners accounting for 25% or less. During the Rif War of the 1920s most of the foreigners serving with the Legion were Spanish-speaking Latin Americans. <inaudible> <inaudible> Modern Legion <inaudible> In the 2000s, after the abandonment of conscription, the Spanish Legion once again accepted foreigners into service. Male and female native Spanish speakers, mostly from Central American and South American states, were included. Today, acceptance to the Spanish Legion is based on the following criteria Be a Spanish citizen, although citizens from former Spanish colonies also can join foreign recruits are required to have a valid Spanish residence permit. Be a citizen in good legal standing Not be deprived of civil rights Be at least 18 years of age and not be 29 on the day of joining boot camp Be able to pass psychological, physical and medical evaluations in recent years, the Spanish Legion was involved in Bosnia as part of the SFOR. It also took part in the Iraq War, deploying in Najaf alongside Salvadoran troops, until the new Spanish government of José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero fulfilled its electoral promises by withdrawing Spanish troops from Iraq. 
The Legion units deployed in Iraq were involved in several operations against the insurgency. In 2005, the Legion was deployed in Afghanistan as part of the NATO-led International Stabilization Force In 2006, the 10th Bandera was sent to southern Lebanon as part of United Nations Operation UNIFIL. Present role in deployment the Spanish Legion is now mostly used in NATO peacekeeping missions. It has 5,000 soldiers in a brigade of two tercios regiments based in Ronda, Malaga and Viator, Almería Andalusia. Two other independent tercios are deployed in the Spanish African enclaves of Ceuta and Melilla as part of their respective garrisons. The Legion is directly controlled by the Spanish General Staff. Although the detachment at Malaga was transferred away, each year a company of legionaries from one of the Tercios regiments returns to march in the Holy Week procession with the Christ of the Good Death, a life-size effigy of Christ crucified, adopted by the Legion as patron in the 1920s. It also has its own confraternity with its home chapel located in this historic city, where veterans who served in this unit are counted among its membership. The Legion's detachments also take part in various Holy Week events nationwide, including its military band. The Legion remains a disciplined elite unit. <laughs> Units constituting modern Spanish Legion The currently active units of the Spanish Legion are 2 Spanish Legion Brigade, Rey Alfonso XIII. In Viator, 2nd Spanish Legion Headquarters Bandera, 2nd Spanish Legion Light Armored Cavalry Group, Reyes Catalicos, 3rd Spanish Legion Tercio, Don Juan de Austria, 7th Spanish Legion Bandera, Valenzuela, 8th Spanish Legion Bandera, Cologne, 4th Spanish Legion Tercio, Alejandro Farnesio. Ex Spanish Legion Bandera, Milan Astray, Second Spanish Legion Field Artillery Group, Second Spanish Legion Engineer Battalion, Second Spanish Legion Logistic Group and other commands, First Spanish Legion Tercio, Gran Capitan, I Spanish Legion Bandera, Comandante Franco, Second Spanish Legion Tercio, Duque de Alba. IV Spanish Legion Bandera, Cristo de Lepanto. Topic: <laughs> Special Forces of the Spanish Legion. Topic: The Legion used to have a special operations unit known as the Bandera de Operaciones Especiales de la Legion, Legion Special Operations Company or BOL. The members of this unit, who were volunteers from other Banderas of the Legion, received training in, scuba, maritime warfare, arctic and mountain warfare, sabotage and demolitions, parachute and halo techniques, long-range reconnaissance, counter-terrorism and CQB, vehicle insertion, sniping and SARA survival, escape, resistance and evasion. Much of the training was undertaken at Fort Bragg USA. In 2002 the BOL was renamed 19th Special Operations Group. Madural Oliga Go 19 and was moved to Alicante. Go 19 accepts applicants from other light infantry units and no longer forms part of the Legion. Nowadays it is subordinated to special operations groups. Topic: <laughs> Ranks. Topic: the military ranks and promotion conditions of the Spanish Legion are the same as those applicable to the remainder of the Spanish army. Formerly the Legion had its own rank system for noncommissioned officers. The only modern difference is that soldiers in the Legion are referred to as Caballeros Legionarios, Legionnaire Knights. Legionnaires consider this title as a distinction, earned through rigorous training and initiation tests. <laughs> Basic training Basic training lasts four months and takes place in Caceres or Cadiz. It includes basic military skills, forced marches and a stringent assault course. After the second month, the recruit signs a two- or three-year contract. 
After finishing basic training the recruit joins one of the tercios, in there he receives further training, mostly focused on parading and legionnaire tradition. This is the same process as in the rest of units in the Spanish army. <laughs> Uniforms and equipment of the legion Uniforms Topic. From its establishment the Legion was noted for its plain and simple style of dress, in contrast to the colorful dress uniforms worn by the peninsular regiments of the Spanish army until the overthrow of the monarchy in 1931. This was part of the cult of austerity favored by a unit that considered itself on more or less continual active service. The modern legion has the same camouflage dress for active service and ordinary duties as the rest of the Spanish army but retains the unique, sage green tropical uniform for semi-formal barrack dress and as the basis of legion parade uniform. Perhaps the most distinctive feature of the modern legion uniform is the khaki gorillo cap or chapiri with red hanging tassel and piping. Contrary to usual military practice, legionaries are allowed to sport beards and are permitted to wear their uniforms, both traditional and service, open at the chest. Equipment The basic weapons used by the legion are the same as those used by the rest of the Spanish army. These include the G36E rifle, its 40 mm grenade launcher modular attachment the AG36, the HKMG4 and MG42A3 machine guns, and the HKUSP 9 mm pistol. Like the rest of the army, the Legion makes use of crew-served weapons such as the M2 Browning machine gun and the SB Lag 40 automatic grenade launcher on their armored vehicles. The Legion's field artillery group mounts L-118 105mm light guns, Italian wheeled tank destroyers B-1 Centauro also are used. The Legion uses Land Rovers, Spanish-made BMR and VECM-1, VAMTAC, URO trucks and other vehicles like foreign LMV or RG-31. Esprit de corps Milan Estre provided the Legion with a distinctive spirit and symbolism intended to evoke Spain's imperial and Christian traditions. For instance, the Legion adopted the regimental designation of Tercio in memory of the 16th century Spanish infantry formations that had toppled nations and terrorized the battlefields of Europe in the days of Charles V. Milan Estre also revived the Spaniards. Ancient feud with the Moors and portrayed his men first as crusaders on an extended reconquista against the Islamic civilization, and later as the saviors of Spain warding off the twin evils of communism and democratic liberalism defeating the dangerous specter of «Eastern atheism». As a tribute to the old Tercios the Legion coat of arms features, besides the crown, weapons used by the soldiers of these units, the musket, halberd and crossbow. Traditions The Legion's customs and traditions include the following Its members, regardless of rank, are titled Caballero Legionario Legionary Knight". When women are admitted, they are titled Dama Legionaria Legionary Lady". A. Mystica Legionaria Legionary Spirit condensed in a 12-point S. Credo Legionario Legionary Creed Legionaries consider themselves Navios de la Muerte bridegrooms of death". The nickname is also the title of one of the two official hymns of the Spanish Legion, the other one being La Canción del Legionario the, Legionary's song". the nickname hails from the first years of the Corps, when it only admitted men during those times. When in trouble, a legionary shouts a me la legion, to me the legion. Those within earshot are bound to help him regardless of the circumstances. In practice, legionaries are never supposed to abandon a comrade on the battlefield. The legion's march step is faster than the Spanish military standard, being 160–180 steps per minute in contrast to the standard 90 steps per minute. During the Holy Week processions in Malaga, the legionaries carry on their shoulders the Christ of Good Death on Holy Thursday morning. 
Later that same afternoon they accompany the procession through the streets of Malaga. Under the command of José Milan Estre, the Legion's motto was Viva la Muerte long live death". It fell into disuse after the death of Francisco Franco. The Legion had several mascots during its history, such as monkeys, chickens, capercailies, wild boars, Barbary sheep Spanish, aruas, bears or parrots. The modern Legion however has a goat as mascot of the unit. It usually appears at parades, wearing a Legion cap and accompanied by a legionary, alongside the Legion's marker guard at parades and ceremonies, leading the marching troops. While throughout its history the Legion has been an essentially infantry force it has also included armoured, artillery and engineer units. During the 1920s and early 1930s a squadron of mounted lanceros lancers formed part of the Legion and in 1982 a mounted section of the Policia Militar de la Legion was formed to carry the traditional lances and pennants during the Holy Week procession in Malaga to continue the practice. The military bands and bugle bands of the Legion continue the musical traditions it has since the 1920s. The bugle bands of the Legion, together with the regulars, are the only such bands in the Spanish armed forces to never use the valved bugle but use the plain bugle instead, and together with the parachute light infantry brigade are the only ones to use the small cornetin or the piccolo bugle, used in ordering commands and leading the bugle band in playing bugle calls, fanfares or marches. The medium cornetin is used by other Spanish armed forces branches. Formerly the Legion did its march pasts in the same way as the rest of the Spanish armed forces, today, all officers and the color guards only do a hand salute and eyes right when marching past. When on the halt and giving full salutes, they only do a hand salute. <laughs> <laughs> Anthems and marches of the Legion Slow march El Novio de la Muerte Bridegroom of Death is the unofficial hymn and regimental slow march of the Spanish Legion, composed in 1921 with words by Juan Costa set to music by Fidel Prado. Regimental quick marches and official anthem Composed in 1920, La Canción del Legionario the S song is the official quick march and anthem of the Legion. It was composed by Modesto Romero and infantry commandant Emilio Gillan Pedamonti. It is played by the military bands and bugle bands of the Legion at the regulation 190 beats that it exclusively uses, before it became the Legion. S. Official March, La Madelon and Tercios Heroicos Heroic Tercios by Francisco Cales and Antonio Soler were its official march past tunes. <laughs> Some notable legionaries The following is a list of legionaries who have gained fame or notoriety inside or outside of the legion. Francisco Franco, general and dictator of Spain from 1939 to 1975. Founding deputy commander of the Spanish Legion in 1920, and later commander of the Legion from 1923 to 1935. Prince Sixtus Henry of Bourbon Parma Spanish, Don Sixto Enrique de Bourbon Parma y Bourbon Busset, as Enrique Aranwas in 1965. Carlist pretender to the Spanish throne. José Milan Estre, founder and first commander of the Spanish Legion, served until 1923. Enrique San Francisco, actor. José Manuel Lara Hernández Pedro Marangoni, writer and pilot Peter Kemp writer, British Special Operations Executive Agent, MI6 agent and writer. Pino Rauti, Italian far-right politician See also Topic Army of Africa Spain FAMET Foreign Legion Israeli Mahal program List of Spanish legionnaires Regulars Topic Notes Topic External links 
Topic In Spanish official website In Spanish Spanish Legion In English Specornet report dated information La Bandera 1935 film on the Spanish Foreign Legion <laughs>